EAP Supply. Today we're going to talk to you about how to hook up a basic RGB color changing system. We're going to talk about the components, how to make your connections, and then how to troubleshoot it. So first let's discuss some of the components. The main component is going to be your RGB color changing controller. This uh, particular system comes with two remotes. First you have your uh, wall remote. Uh, it takes a battery. So if you snap the cover plate off, you'll notice that there's a battery enclosed inside so that you know where that's at for replacing it in the future. Just keep in mind that the battery that is shipped with your unit is just for uh, temporary use only. You want to replace it with a high-grade Duracell or Energizer battery. Uh, then there's also a handheld RF remote that has a, an antenna, also takes the same style battery. Um, so that's just as an auxiliary control. Then you've got the brains uh, of the operation. You've got your main control unit, and you'll notice that there's terminals on both ends. First, the terminals on, on this end here, there's two, a positive and a negative. That's your 12 volt, uh, low voltage power that's coming in from your power supply. And then the end of your LED strip is going to have four wires on it. You're going to have your black wire, which is your voltage wire, and then your green, blue, and red, which is the color changing wires going out to the lights. So first, uh, you're going to want to size your power supply. We have here um, one of our industrial power supplies, and this industrial power supply can run quite a few strips. Uh, and for what we're doing today, we're using the Blaze RGB strip, and this particular strip pulls 36 watts of power. We're going to be using four of them, so we've sized our power supply accordingly. Now, on the industrial power supplies, uh, you're going to need to purchase a whip uh, that has a three-prong plug on it. And those, uh, on the end of that whip, your black wire will go into where it's marked for L for your load, white wire for N for your neutral, green wire for your ground, and then you'll go ahead and plug that wire in. And then that'll give your power supply power. Um, then, you'll have on your same industrial power supply, you'll have your voltage minus and your voltage positive uh, that's going to be able to give your uh, low voltage power from your driver uh, to your color changing controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the terminals here on the end. And we've got our wire pre-stripped back. And uh, this wire, we're going to put the black wire into the voltage with the side that says V minus. And we're going to make sure that that's tightened down really well. And then on the other side where it says voltage positive, we're going to put the red wire. And we're going to make sure that we tighten that one down nice and snug. And you'll see that now this is working. Um, you can pause that control and you can turn it on and off. So we turned it off. So you'll see none of the lights on this side are operating. Whenever power is going to your actually to your lights, you'll see that over here, no matter what mode button you push, that you'll have some sort of activity on this side. When there is no lights on this side, that means that the power button is off. When you are hooking up your LED lights, there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to want to look out for. On large installations, you're going to need to be able to take the signal that's coming from here and the power that's coming from here going into your lights and you're going to need to amplify that on long runs. On shorter installations, if you have, let's say, just two reels of light, then you're not going to need anything other than what you see here. Uh, for installations beyond that, where you're going to be adding additional reels of light, you're going to need to pick up uh, from our uh, connectors accessories page an RGB amplifier. And what this does is this will add power and increase the signal draw from this unit and draw it into these lights here. And we're going to show you how to hook that up uh, and show you how to do it with two style connections, either with a solder connection or a regular snap connection. But for now, we're going to go ahead and hook up the lights. So we're going to go ahead and take uh, one of our rolls of light here, our RGB light. And this particular roll, we're going to unravel uh, for demonstration purposes here. And you'll notice that there are four wires on the end of this roll of light. And on the end of this roll, you're going to have a black, a green, a red, and a blue. You're going to take your black wire and on your four terminals that are located here, you're going to put your black wire where it says V plus. 
Now, don't confuse your red wire on here as a power wire because your voltage plus is red on this side, but your voltage plus on this side is your black wire. Then you'll go ahead and you'll see your, uh, your R, G, and B uh, lettering on the top of your controller here, and then you'll just hook up your wires accordingly. So we're going to go ahead and put our green wire in the green terminal, our red wire in the red terminal, and then we'll continue to do on and do the, put the blue wire in the blue terminal. Now if you cross your wires at any point in your installation, especially the green and the blue, what will happen is one roll of light will turn blue and the other roll of light will turn green. Uh, so you just need to reverse those wires back to get them in unison again. So now that we've got this hooked up by pushing our power on, you can see now that we have uh, light. And we can change through our different modes. So when this is glowing blue, your lights should be blue. Let's say, for example, when, we, when this is glowing blue, these were green. That means you need to reverse the two wires in, in the green and blue terminal. And then as you go through your different modes, you'll see all of the different color changes that are going to take place. Um, at any point in time, while it's going through, let's say, through a color change like this, you can either reduce the speed or speed it up. And then you can also pause it at any point in time by pushing the play pause button here. Going back through to through our modes, you're going to find that there's uh, actually 27 modes with this particular controller that you can go through, and you can speed them up or slow them down. When you're on a solid color, that allows you to bring the brightness up or to dim it down with your B plus and B minus. Um, and you'll know that when you're at full brightness, when the little green signal light here is, you'll see when I push here, your brightness goes up and down. Um, we got to get on the solid color first. There we go. So we're on solid red now. And if we hit the brightness minus button, you see the little green light flashing. And you'll see the lights are dimming down very slowly. And if we turn around and we take them to full brightness, uh, and this is our blaze strip. Our, ray, our inferno strip is going to be twice as bright as this one. But you'll know when you're at full brightness when the signal button stops uh, turning green. So just a little uh, trick there. Now for connecting multiple strips together, you have a couple different options. You're going to have either a regular RGB snap connector uh, that you'll see on our connectors and accessories page where you can cut and connect these strips back together along its run. And we'll show you a little bit further uh, in another video series on how to do that uh, here in a little bit. But on the end of these strips here, uh, we have pre-soldered on a four-pin connector, and we're going to show you how to do that. But what this now allows us to do is it allows us to connect our RGB amplifier uh, for connecting our additional strips. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead, and there's an input and an output side on our amplifier. Um, so we're going to put on the input side is the lights uh, that are coming from the controller. And then on the output side is the lights that are going uh, out and continuing down our run. And you'll put one of these amplifiers every 16 feet regardless of the roll of light that you're using. Then you'll notice that there's a red and black wire that's coming off the bottom of our amplifier that's in our installation here. And what that does is that allows us to power up um, our particular connection that we have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you now uh, how to make that connection.